first we'll see how to prepare circuit in multisim and then we'll learn the working of op amp as comparator once the simple task is done then after we'll see how to use operational amplifier or op amp as comparator in practical applications like temperature sensing and creating tripping signals but first let me show you the pin diagram of op amp ic741 so now let's jump to simulation so first of all we will prepare a circuit so for that we are going to use op amp 741 so let's find it where is op amp 741 so we will go to analogs and then op amp in op amp we will search for 741 so there we go here we have 741 then after uh, to observe the output uh, we will go to basics and from basics we will go to indicator indicator is not here in basics indicator is here so from here uh, oh, we will go for any led we are fine with indicator or if you want to use led then we should go for diode right so light emitting diode and uh, Let's take a red color, right? Red is my one of my favorite, so we'll take a red color, and then after we'll go to basics and we want to add a resistor in series, so we'll take a resistor of any random value, then we can set the value as per our requirement. Now we'll go to sources, power sources, and we'll take DC power one more DC power for another terminal right now we are preparing the most simplest and easiest circuit right that is why we are using two DC sources otherwise after this circuit we will see a little bit more advanced the circuit of op amp as comparator so for in that condition we do not require two separate DC sources so we will take VCC and we will take VEE so that's it uh, no one more component is left and that is ground right so we'll take uh, ground and okay so now we'll connect the circuit this is our VCC so before connecting VCC I would like to ask you a small question that previously we have seen the diagram of IC741 so can you tell me that on which pin number we should connect the VCC write the answer in comments below and if you don't know then you can rewind the video and watch where we require to connect the vcc so right now we are connecting it to pin number 7 vee will rotate it and we we are connecting to pin number 4 now we are going to connect inverting and non-inverting input with the DC supply so there we go we have connected both the DC supply with inverting and non-inverting terminal and then we'll connect this DC supply with the ground so that we have a close path now we are going to connect the output in output we are taking output from pin number 6 and we'll give it to one resistance and then we'll connect it with diode and we require one more ground so we are taking copying and pasting it from the source side so the circuit is ready now i'll make few changes into the parameter i'll reduce the resistance and we'll change uh, the magnitude of vcc and vee so instead of 5 volts we are keeping a 12 volts and over here instead of 12 volts uh, let me make this as 2 volt and uh, the another terminal as 4 volts so now we are going to understand how this op amp can work as a comparator here we have two inputs the first input is non-inverting input and the second input is inverting input 
So what does this op amp actually does? When we give signal to the non-inverting and inverting terminals, the difference of these two signals, the voltage difference of these two signals will be amplified by this op amp and the result of that amplification can be seen in output. For example, if we have a 0.5 volts of difference between these two signals, then also this comparator can amplify this difference into thousands of volts because basically the gain of this operational amplifier is so huge, thousands and lakhs of time. So let me implement those things in the simulation and show it to you. So to observe the waveform, we require to have oscilloscope and here we are going to use a 4 channel oscilloscope. So now let's connect the circuit. So our circuit is ready and now I'm going to change the color of the signals. So red color is for non-inverting signal, blue color is for inverting signal and the green color is for the output. Okay, so now we'll run the circuit and understand how this functions. So now let's understand how this op amp work as comparator. When we provide input signals to the inverting and non-inverting terminal, if the signals, if the magnitude of these two signals are same, then you will get a zero volt as output. Why? Because the input is same. Fundamentally, what this operational amplifier tries to do? Fundamentally tries to make both the input signal equal. Remember this thing. Fundamentally, it always tries to make both the input signal equal. And in order to achieve that thing, it will give appropriate output. So what will happen when we apply two different voltage at input? When the voltage on negative terminal is higher than the positive terminal, then this comparator will try to produce a large amount of negative voltage like minus 100, minus 1000 volts. But practically it cannot give that much amount of large voltage. Why? Because at negative side we are giving maximum minus 12 volts. So it will go into the saturation condition and it will give us the negative saturation voltage in output. In our case, our negative saturation voltage is minus 12 volts. So that is why we are getting here minus 12 volts in output. And that you can see through this green line. Now let us change the voltage at positive terminal and observe the output. So instead of 2, we have made it 3 volts. Now let's run it again. And you can observe it from here when the voltage at positive terminal is higher than the negative terminal then this comparator will try to produce the maximum amount or the large amount of positive voltage in output but again the same story repeats it cannot generate hundreds and thousand volts in output practically because practically we are giving 12 volt as a supply so what will happen it will go in positive saturation mode so here we have positive saturation volt of 12 volts so that is why we will get 12 volts in output so this is the basic and most fundamental explanation of how we can use this operational amplifier as comparator now let us modify this circuit with some practical aspects and then understand it again So here our circuit diagram is ready, here we are giving the reference signal and this is the variable resistance. Just imagine that this is any RTD or PTC or any temperature dependent resistor or any temperature sensor which changes its resistance with change in temperature, right? And from here we are giving the reference of temperature. We are going to achieve a kind of cutoff using this comparator. So now we have set the value of uh, input signal, the reference signal. We will run the circuit and we will observe. What is happening right now? It is giving us the negative voltage. If we do not want to have any negative voltage, what we can do? We can stop it, 
and uh, instead of this negative voltage we can connect it to ground and run it again so when we have connected it to ground it gives us almost zero voltage that means our output is zero when the temperature rises the change in resistance occurs and because of this change in resistance what will happen that you can see over here see so we are increasing we are increasing we are increasing increasing and after this time let's stop it and observe over here see the red is the output of temperature sensor so over here you can see it is still comparing these two values but the non inverting terminals magnitude is higher temperature rises 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 again rises and once it crosses the positive terminals voltage the output will shoot to the positive side so this is how this comparator can be used in practical applications where we need to compare some signals with the reference so this is how you can use this operational amplifier ic741 as a comparator now one more important thing if you want to download this simulation for your practice session then you can download it from my telegram group the link of the telegram group is provided in description box below you can go to that group and download the simulation if you think that this video is useful for you then do not forget to give a like and subscribe to this channel there are different videos available on playlist of multisim tutorials on my channel you just visit that channel and you can learn so many things using multisim in next video we are going to understand inverting and non inverting operational amplifier as a comparator where we are going to compare a dc signal with triangular wave with sine wave and we'll see what type of output we are getting so do not forget to watch the next video